What's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to Impact Wrestling Review, the show from November 12, 2019. You're in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Your commentators, as usual, Josh Matthews and Don Callis. And the show itself here, um, what it pertains to the North, what it pertains to uh, defending their Impact World Tag Team Championships. They wanted uh, Mara Fuji to find the partner of his choosing, and it ends up being you, Eddie Edwards. And we'll get to that because that ends you up being the main event of Impact Wrestling for the November 12th like I edition. Said, I didn't do anything. On, you didn't believe me, though. On Access TV. You're basically it, Impact Wrestling on Access TV. But, anyways, let's get to the show here. Uh, the first match we opened up was Trey versus Rohit Rajul versus Eden Prince versus. Um, get in the cow. Get in the cow. <laughs> get in the mama. Um, Brent ba um, Banks versus lava. William Mack versus oh, Pity Williams, where <laughs> the winner of this match will be become the new no more contender for the Look exhibition championship. And Look at this. I believe Ace also was on commentary for this match. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fire. Uh, I'm assuming he was on, he was a commentator for this match. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Um, I could be wrong, but I could swear he was. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. Yes, Ace also was on commentary uh, with Don Callis and Josh Matthews. Meanwhile, while this match is all going on, we have uh, a special guest uh, in, in in the crowd. And he's he's uh, she's known to be the mother of Trey. Yeah, so Trey's mother, uh, which, by the way, it was, um, it, it, it was, it was linked to something in the way where it tends to Dez was into uh, to Trey's mother. When they did the um, whole uh, seg segment of the you know, in the circle, with Father Bob, you know, joining along with them, even where I did the um, that review, um, yo, you know, set, on the fallout yo, of Bound for Glory yo, 2019. Oh, um, that you know that edition of it, who, you know, same kind of became the Impact World Champion. Um, so yeah, Trey's uh, mom was there sleep to on, uh, in support of, of her son. So this match ends up happening uh, as uh, Ace also was our commentary, and they and they and they talk about yo know, Ace. I mean, they talk about Trey. Uh, his mom was it was there and everything, and it's, it's Austin was like, oh, oh, she's a good looking woman on that, and I say to myself, oh no, I can see where this is going now. So, but besides that, uh, the match itself was was good. All all, all these competitors were, yeah, were very good in the match. We uh, right were tends to uh, we fight for right an uh, opportunity to become, you know, the more contender to face the ex exhibition champion against Ace some Austin. Mushroom call it mushrooms and and in the slime end, blocks. We can use the so Pete Williams goes for the Canadian Destroyer, I believe to yeah to so, Rohit Rajul. Only for so Trey to get an upset, you um, your know, roll, roll, roll of victory on Pete Williams, you know, an upset in the way, and because the new, new, new contender for the expansion championship, so yeah, Trey is getting the opportunity, and uh, by the way, uh, Pete Williams puts over Trey for for the win, and based on with Trey winning and with his mom, you know, con 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 congratulating on his his you know his son for winning the match, it's awesome. It's on commentary. It's like um, he's 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 into Trey's mom. And I can see where that's going to be going to, folks, when it pertains to that. Okay. I, so, we'll see how that I turns out. I balls now. <laughs> uh, cause I, got a, I got a lot more to say about that one but once, you know, as, as people go by. It. And we'll, we'll talk about with me I'm doing a little more catching up to do, to do all these Impact Wrestling reviews. So, so we're going to move away from, I just I'm, banged I'm your wife to, I, a I just at, banged your I mom. Right now. <gasps> Animals. Food. Yes. Well, yeah, but we'll talk more about that though. Uh, we go backstage. We see Rich Swan. Uh, he were. Oh, uh, that zombie can go suck some rotten flesh. I'm they, they made announcement that Rich, Rich Swan will will be challenging Sammy Callahan for the Impact World Championship title at n No Surrender on December seventh of twenty nineteen. Uh, and it's gonna be on, on Impact Plus, by the way. So. Oh, dude, I didn't. What is this Fortnite? Kevin. Is Kevin we see backstage. We see Michael. El I mean, backstage. And we see Michael Elgin, uh, who's uh, who's been interview who's being interviewed. And he's uh, he's, he's um, gets an opportunity is to Kevin be in this in this uh, challenge Kevin elimination match. Uh, I I think that's, that's what they're calling it. The challenge the challenge elimination match. Uh, but but yeah, that will be uh, on the next uh, Impact Wrestling review of it. So next we get to Madison Rain, who's being covered by Kira Hogan, who's still wearing a, 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 a slang because she's still hurt, still injured. As Master Rain goes up against uh, Alexa and Nicole, and Master Rain was pretty, uh, was pretty decent, and then Master Rain won with the the, the, the cross here. rain, and yeah, the locker room leader ends up winning the match. Nah, 
He's talking about wrestling. Johnny Swinger, he was talking to Aiden Prince about he took a dump Me either. in the bag. Yeah, Johnny Swinger, who's supposed to be all about, you know, trying to go after the ladies and all that, and he's got, he's got a nice a nice physique and all that. He's, he's, um, you know, he's, all, he's all about the looks and everything. He took a... a well, it's just um, his words coming out of his mouth. He took a dump in someone's bag. Well, that explains why I hear a zombie. And apparently... I just killed it. Killed the zombie. Josh Swinger saying about you know he he took a big dump in his uh, in William's bag, and then Prince tells him that's not William's bag, and then Kenshiro walks up walks in, and says oh my god you stink to uh Johnny Johnny Swinger, and Kenshiro took his bag, so basically Johnny Swinger mistakenly dump you know took a dump in Kenshiro's bag, <sighs> and he had a look at uh a, 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 yeah Man, he, he had a anymore. concerned look on his face that he uh oh, I I took a dump in Kenshiro's bag. Hey, don't worry about it. Ken Shirok, he presses, he presses uh, Joe Ryan, so you're you're good. If he presses Joe Ryan, he's going to praise you too for dump, taking the dump in his, in his bag. So you got nothing to worry about. Uh, RVD with uh, in the tub with his um his girlfriend, Kitty Kitty Forbes, which was nice. Um, they're having a good time. They're uh, on, on vacation and all that, and they're going to appear up here on the next Impact Wrestling show, which I don't think they did, based on uh of you know you know me catching up on it. I don't think they did. Uh, unless I missed something, unless RVD was too much, had too much, um, you know, smoking the joint and all that, they ends up being uh, on the on the wrong show again. Who knows? Anyways, we got the golden draw: Jay Chris versus Daga. <laughs> ends up being a good match in the end. Um, Daga ends up winning the match with the butterfly uh, power driver move. I forgot what, um, what he called it, but no, what, but he won, he won that that, that move. And yeah, deep. there you go. But yeah, it was a good match though. It was a very good match. Uh, the North are being interviewed. Yeah, you know, all all, all Eagle, Ethan care. Page, and Walking Weapon, Josh Alexander, the Impact World Tag Team Champions. They they're being interviewed about you know how they you know they 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 decide they they chose to to defend the tag the tag titles against Amara Fuji and Eddie Edwards. And basically, the the interviewer asked, uh, "What if you lose?" And then he's like, "You know what? Interview over." Because he, he felt like he was um being disrespected and all that. Oh by the way, uh it's, it's Gabby uh Lauren. Sometimes I keep forgetting her name, you know, Gabby Lauren, uh who's the new interviewer backstage since Melissa Santos is not doing that anymore. Uh I don't know. But what uh, hey. I, I like Gabby uh Lauren though. She's she's pretty she's pretty she's she's pretty good. Uh OVE, Sammy Callahan and Madman Fulton versus Rich Swan and Tessa Blanchard in a tag team match. A good tag team match with Sammy Callahan and Madman Fulton winning. Um, basically, Sammy Callahan got um got his win back on Rich Swan by beating him. After the match, Tess Blanchard uh you know goes after uh Callahan, and then those go you know and basically those go take out Tess Blanchard because you know you know, it, you know Rich Swan couldn't um, couldn't um save her because he was still out. Also, but all of a sudden Brian Cage comes out to for the save to clean house, and Brian Cage he wants another crack at um Sammy Callahan mm -hmm. because he talks about this you know being um being confronted by. Gabby Lauren backstage uh recent fin interview. And he says he wants he wants to enter himself into the um to the and challenge on the mission match where he wants another another crack at Sammy Callahan for the Impact World title. So we get to Impact Moment plus I mean I'm, I'm an Impact Plus moment of the week. Uh where it pertains to the Impact uh X Fashion Championship title match from Homecoming where Rich Swan is winning the belt on that on that on that one. So um after that also we see Giant Swinger uh, with more people, mm -hmm. how, he talked about how proud he was when he took a dump in Ken Shamrock's luggage. Garbage. Have you ever seen that fish with three eyes from Simpsons? We go backstage and we see Tyler Valkyrie fish. and Johnny Bravo. Uh, they're discussing something. All of a sudden, Jordan Grace seizes them, and she confronts them. She wants her, mm. her towel shot. Um, play. But instead of um, you know, getting the towel shot, they persuade her to uh, you know, basically convince her in a way for Jordan Grace to face both of them. You know, Ty Bakri and John E. Bravo in the match. I see some more cows. Which it ended up happening, which we'll get to more that one. Do more catch catch ups of his Three cows reviews of impact, of impact Wrestling. Eat is the leaders. Um, Moose was at a golf. I mean, I mean not golf court. That was that was last time. Um, the Moose leaders. was at a tennis court. Eat is the leaders. Mo Moose playing tennis, and he compares himself to being in the league of uh, a former athlete in Michael 
Michael Jordan. Okay. But he plays. He plays. He plays tennis. He ends up winning. And I'm saying also, okay, uh, it was a fun segment, but at the same time, what's this? What's this do? What's this do for me? For uh, with some moves. Um, but <laughs> whatever. I guess it's to prove that he's he, he's he's a he's he, not only he's the best wrestler. Uh, but also, tennis, but also he, he's also the best thing, uh, and also in in other sports like golf, tennis, MMA. Even though he he, he didn't Ouch. actually uh fight in MMA, but I guess being Ken Shamrock um may, may account from Bound for Glory. I guess I, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Next thing he's gonna play basketball. So I can't oh I can't I can't, God, I can't wait for that segment. By the way, him playing basketball. So I, I got a whole stack of. Oh, let me, oh, oh, even better. He could play hockey, or. He could, he could play, do you, um... Do you have enough to actually... Most of the things that they had, um, the yeah, character for Cesaro. Yo, know, Cesaro at the time. Um... This poor chap or Ripley, right or, or, I'm trying to remember what what, 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 what it was. It was a sport that, um, they, they would say that he was part of, and then he was the too baby, rough of it, and he got kicked out of it, horse, and it, it led to him to be a wrestler and all that. Like, a stupid story that they did for, for Cesaro when he came in. Oh, a rugby player. Yeah, Moose should do that now. He should be, uh, doing, um, something about, you know, being a rugby player. I don't know. Yeah, That's but yeah, I'm 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 actually on the this now. Um, they, they haven't moved doing all these um, you know, all these these sports stuff, you know, besides wrestling, and you know, and, and obviously you can't do football anymore, you know. But but it's whatever. But yeah, let's see let's see if they, if they still continue doing that with Moose. Uh, Jessica Havoc versus someone named Crystal Moon. Don't know who she is, but then America she lost. <laughs> Let's say about that. Uh, just have a, uh, basically destroyed her. Uh, but I'd love to see more of this. Uh, you know, of this Crystal Moon, if she is part of Impact Wrestling. But I digress. After the match, just have all uh, goes backstage. All of a sudden, she gets confronted by Su- <clears throat> Susie. Susie uh, says, "I see. I saw your match. You looked great. Note that. And blah blah blah." And then she says, "She thinks that she knows. She knows her, uh, but she isn't sure." I'm pretty sure it's. What? Um, Susie, you know, Sue Young, Yo, how about we playing mind games with, with uh, Jessica Havoc. You can have your base over here, and I can have but, my base across you know, but, but anyways, uh, Jessica Havoc, she ends up walking away. She wants she wants to destroy her from there, but uh, but right. Jessica Havoc doesn't know what she's yeah, up to, but she walks away because she wants she doesn't want to so find, stay long to find out. But Sue, Susie, uh, this, that, that was it for they have for Susie, and we'll see um, how well it was to be to work with Susie. You know, who is formerly known as Sue Young. Maybe at time. Eddie Edwards and Maru Fuji versus The North. Ethan Page and just, uh, Josh Alexander for the Impact World Tekken Championship. Ends up being a damn pretty good match. Um, in the end, it was The North ends up retaining, still, the Impact World Tekken Champions. Get and, you yeah, like I said, it was a good match. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Eddie Edwards' hairstyle, right, hairstyle you by the way. Go to sleep for the night. Eddie Edwards' hairstyle is throwing me off here, folks. I, I can't get... I can't get... Oh, but he's crazy. He's, he's, uh, he's insane. Whatever. But it's yeah, but yeah, it was a good main event match though. Um, but yeah, but Edwards got to lose that hair, that hairstyle now. It, it, it looks ridiculous. Yo, know, get get on. Um... Anyways, but that was it. For, that was it for the show though. Now, talking about wrestling for uh, Impact Wrestling, the show from November 12, twenty nineteen. If I can take a guess, mm-hmm. I think it was about five matches, mm-hmm. which I'm, I'm, I'm going to see right now. We had that we had the exhibition on the Morgan Township match that we um that, yeah. that happened. Um there was a knockoffs match. Yeah, well perfect. two knockoffs matches. You could say it was on uh, you could um, add three into that into that build. Six matches. Let me just no, double check. No 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 that was like <sighs> six matches. And my overall strength for the show, I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with a uh, seven and a half out of ten. And with that being said, thank you all for watching for It's Natural Born Driller. Saying peace on the streets. But this is your Impact Wrestling review, the show for November 12, 2019. Until the next time, we're going to to me doing more catching ups of these Impact Wrestling reviews. You all take care, and I'm out. <laughs>